Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about the histology of the cerebrum. The cerebrum has two parts, cerebral cortex and cerebral medulla. The cerebrum is responsible for learning, memory, sensory integration, information analysis, and initiation of motor responses. The cerebrum has the elevation on its surface, we call it gyri. One is gyrus, multiple is gyri. It is depression called sulcus, multiple. Sulcus is called sulci depressions. The idea of this gyrus and sulcus to accommodate more neurons so that in a small area, the brain can accommodate a lot of neurons. The cerebrum has the cortex, the gray matter. This is the gray matter. This is composed of cell body of the neuron. Neuroglia, the supporting cells and blood vessel. The white matter that is inside the medulla. It is composed of axon, myelin sheath, the neuroglia, and the blood vessels. But the gray matter is more vascular than that of the white matter. Okay. So if you go here, we'll find out the neurons and neuroglia and distribution of the neuroglia. In the brain, the gray matter forms the outer covering or cortex, white matter forms the inner core or medulla. Islands of gray matter in the in the white matter of the cerebrum and cerebellum are called nuclei. Like in the cerebrum, we have the basal nuclei. The coded nucleus, lentiform nucleus. In the cerebellum, we have the dentate nucleus, emboliform nucleus, like that. So these are the islands of gray matter in the white matter of the either cerebrum or in the cerebellum. Meshwork of axonal, dendritic, and glial processes are called neuropil. So if we go to the neuron and neuroglia, I'm seeing one neuron cell body here. This is the axon, and these are the neuroglial cell like oligodendroglia. We have the microglial cell or phagocytic cell. We have the astrocyte supporting cells. The oligodendroglia also make the myelin around the axons of the neuron. And one oligodendroglia may myelinate one to sixty axons in the in the central nervous system. Okay, so the cerebral cortex. In a slide, we'll find the pyramidal cells. These are the pyramidal cells. These are the pyramidal sense, they look like a pyramid. The base is here, apex is there, okay, like that. The base is in the lower part, apex in the top. The, they, are, they are arranged vertically, and the size of pyramidal cell increases as the depth of the cerebral cortex. So neuroglia are interposed among the neurons. We have here the astrocyte, these are protoplasmic astrocyte. This is a neuroglia present in the cerebral cortex. We have also fibrous astrocyte, mostly seen in the white matter of the, of the cerebrum. So these are pyramidal cells. These are the, the protoplasmic astrocyte, the supporting cell of neuroglial cell. Okay. Okay, we'll go there. Here, we'll go to the layers of the 
cerebral cortex and this should be the identifying points. We have six layer of the cells and the neuroglia in the cerebral cortex. Then just underneath it, we we'll get the cerebral medullar white matter. So the cerebral cortex is molecular layer, contains neuroglial cell in layer one. This is the layer one, contains neuroglial cell and the horizontal cells of casual here we get in the in the first layer of the cerebral cortex and this layer is covered by the pia matter okay the external granular layer contains neuroglia granule cell and small pyramidal cell is present here external pyramidal layer contains medium size pyramidal cell here we are looking the pyramidal cell these are the multiple neurons they are gradually increasing in size in the depth okay so we got the external pyramidal layer contains medium sized pyramidal cells okay then stage 4 inner granular layer contains many small granule cell some pyramidal cell and various neuroglia it is very dense region the the fourth layer is really dense it is very dense okay so this is the dense layer the fourth layer here okay this is dense and number five is the internal pyramidal layer contains large pyramidal cell and numerous glial cell okay number five is here here is that and number six is the multiformis layer okay multiformis layer here this is the multiformis layer we'll get different type of different sizes of cell like like fusiform cell granule cell stellate cell cells of martinotti okay so from there we'll get the bundles of axon that will form the white matter okay so we'll get the nucleus of the neuroglia we get the capillary here okay so we will find out the the pyramidal cells here again the gc means granule cell we have some fusiform cell here and we have the fusiform cell and the pyramidal cell in the pyramidal cell the apex will get the dendrite side will get the dendrite from the base central part of the base will get the axons the axon goes down the dendrites goes up usually okay so if we go to the highlights of the histology of the seri brown will get cortex medulla cortex is the gray matter that contains the cell body, the neuroglia, the blood vessels, the white matter or the medulla con doesn't contain cell body. It has the axon with myelin covered by myelin and also a lot of neuroglia and blood vessel. But the gray matter is more vascular than that of the white matter. As a whole brain is very vascular, but gray matter even more vascular. We found the gray matter, white matter, nuclei of the brain. These are isolated gray matter in the white matter of the brain, like that of the basal nuclei, like the quadrate nucleus, lentiform nucleus. Okay, like red nucleus in the brain stem. Okay, the predictal nucleus. Those are all the nuclei. These are the isolated gray matter collection of neuron in the white matter. Okay, so we got what is neuropil. These are the meshwork of the axon, dendrites, and the neuroglia are called neuropil. Types of neuron and neuroglia. We have multiple neuron, bipolar neuron, pseudonuclear neuron. In the Dorsal root ganglion will get the nuclear neuron in the olfactory neuron and other test 
sensation or, or special sensation area receptor neurons are bipolar in the retina we have bipolar neuron in the eye okay but the pyramidal cell is a multipolar neuron neuroglia we have astrocyte two type of astrocyte fibro fibrous astrocyte present in the white matter protoplasmic astrocyte present in the gray matter okay we have microglia they have phagocytic function they are derived from from the mononuclear phagocytic system we have also the ependymal cell that lines the ventricles of the brain and we have other cells we have other cells are present in the central nervous system like a lot of blood capillaries so we got the neuron types of neuron bipolar neuron is present in the olfactory area receptor in the retina multipolar neuron is present in the cerebral cortex that is a multipolar neuron the pyramidal cell even the Purkinje cell of the cerebellum that is also multipolar neuron provided it has more than one dendrite okay Neuroglia, we got the neuroglia astrocyte, oligodendrocyte can myelinate the axons, and microglial cell, ependymal cell that lines the ventricles of the brain. We got the layers of the cerebral cortex, granule cells are present in the second layer, and pyramidal cells are present. They are gradually enlarged in size. okay and that's all about the histology of the cerebral cortex if you like my video please support my channel please share the information with your friends and if you have any question please feel free to ask me and have a nice day bye now